Hello and welcome to this new section on meeting profitability goals and the first lecture of that in this course on building excellence in sales management. So purpose of this new section is to give you in-depth understanding of how can you meet your profitability goals. If you remember, one of your goals could be to meet the profitability goals. And the question is, how can you uh, meet those goals? And what we will cover in specifically in this lecture is recap uh, the what drives profitability. We talked about that earlier in one of the lectures. And then we will talk about what can you do for each of these drivers under your control to uh, achieve your profitability goals, right? Wonderful. So let's recap the drivers of profitability. As we saw the profitability in your area, your area of profitability on your business will be determined by three things. One, what is your product mix? And second is the product gross margins. And, and third is your direct sales and marketing costs that you would incur yourself. And these are things that some of these could be under your control, some may not be under control. So the product mix, uh, as we saw, depends again on the quality of product. The products that have better quality than competitor will sell more. They will be more important in your product mix. Image, pricing, delivery, and sales and marketing impact. And similarly, the profitability, the gross product margins, again, depends on what factory produces and what is the unit cost, what is the unit pricing, and what are the deals and discounts that you give in the field. And your sales and marketing cost depends on the mix and the effectiveness. More you have particular item, uh, more effective, more you would incur that and that will improve in the mix. So that's the drivers of profitability. So let's look at the first one, product mix. So how can we leverage product mix for profitability? Any thoughts? So the, uh, basically the strategy here is to look at your product mix, look at the products that you have in your entire portfolio and then classify them into two areas one in terms of percentage gross gross profits are they high or low or in terms of market share are they currently high or low and then focus on the products that are high percentage gross profits and you have relatively low market share to grow aggressively because what will happen if you focus on these growing because the gross profits are low your profitability improve at the same time since your market share is low and if you can fix the reason for low market share, uh, you will be able to grow there. The second category of growth would be high gross profit products that you have high market share. Then you need to keep maintaining the current growth that you're getting. Now, there are products that you will have relatively low gross profits and those are, uh, you know, uh, if they also have low market share, then the best is to ignore them. And if there are products that are of... Uh, uh, high gross profits and high market share, you need to improve profitability, to improve the gross profit so that they start contributing better for your profitability of your area business. Make sense? So the question is, how do we classify each of these products on each of these parameters? And let's look at how can we classify on gross profit? Any thoughts? How do you think you can classify your area products on uh, gross profits? And ultimately, you want a high and low classification, right? Okay, so the approach is something like this, as you see here on your screen. You need to first find out what are the percentage gross profits of all your products that you are you are needed to sell, right? And some of this could be new products, some will be, mostly will be existing products. And then you arrange them in the, in the table on the right hand side, P1 to P7, for example, on a descending order of the gross profit. So P1 has the highest gross profits. Uh, X1 is the highest gross profit of, P of P1 and X7 is the lowest gross profit of your product. Now what you need to then find out is what is the cutoff percentage gross profit above which you can treat the products having gross profits more than that as high gross profit, high, high, high classification and below which you will classify them as having low gross profits. Now this cutoff will be can be either this year's goal that you have or last year's whichever is higher. So that could be one basis of deciding cutoff or there could be other mechanism, but this is one way I would suggest it here. Then treat all the products that are percentage gross profits higher than this cutoff point as high as you see in your screen. X1, X2, X4, uh, X, uh, X5 is the cutoff point and X1 to X4 I have high gross profits and X5, X2, X7 has the low gross profits. And 
that that you that's how you decide and lastly based on this uh, kind of analysis you need to sit with your manager in a line for any strategic consideration he might say yeah i know x7 is low but uh, i think we there is already work happening or improving on gross profit reducing costs at the factory levels so i suggest you keep it to the high side similarly there could be a product x2 that's currently treated as high but he could say no well, let's keep it as low because uh, we are going to reduce the prices and this not going to any more high gross profit product so you will get some strategic insights after discussing with your manager having done that uh, uh, classification on the gross profit part how do you classify on the market shares as high and low any thoughts you do a similar analysis now what you collect is you collect data again for your products p1 to p7 on the market share in your area right so you figure out what are the market share in each of the categories from p1 to p7 and supposing these were x1 x2 x7 then you find out uh, which is in your company in your business uh, around the country uh, which states have the highest market share in this category say for example if one of your product is baby powder and your market share is uh, 3.7 percent and you find in kerala the share is 11.6 percent so the best area market share becomes 11.6 percent so like this you figure out the best area market share for each of the products that you have and it could be you it could be someone else so if it is someone else and your market share is lower than significantly lower than that market, that area's market share you can classify that as low with the whole idea that relatively you have low market share with the hope of increasing the market share to as much as the highest market sharing area by doing something that they those guys are doing and that also gives you some modeling to look at in terms of how to grow your business in this product uh, that have you have low market share similarly if you have your market share is already uh, almost equal to or you have as much as uh, the highest market share or you are the highest market share here you obviously will treat this as a high market share and again you go back and align with your ma uh, manager for any strategic consideration because data is data and there are insights that you can draw by talking to someone else and especially your manager having done that what you do is you put together all this analysis in one sheet of paper with product p1 to p7 and you put their gross profits then you put the classification in this table from the previous analysis then you put again the second table that you have and you put their classification and then you start getting now leads into what could be your strategy for example the p1 market share you have classified based on data and uh, strategic consideration from area manager as high in terms of profits profitability as well as you have classified as low with the scope of improvement right so this becomes your grow aggressively grow uh, category of product so your strategy is uh, grow p2 is again a high gross profit and a low one so that also becomes a grow p3 is a high gross profit area but you have a high market share so the increasing the sales will be a challenge so you maintain the sales or maintain the growth rate that's coming to you like this you figure out all of them like p7 is a low uh, gross profit as well as low uh, market share so it is not worthwhile any effort to put any sales efforts on growing this business right so you ignore it completely p5 would be a improving gross profit strategy because your uh, growth potential is high in terms of uh, classification uh, your market share is uh, 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 market share is uh, uh, high as well as your gross profit is low so you can you will work on improving the gross profit here so like this you get each product wise strategy in terms of those four quadrants that we saw there so having looked at your product wise profitability strategy that can help you maximize your uh, profitability in the area what do you do next so we in the next uh, module next lecture we will look at the second driver and see how can we leverage the uh, the second uh, product gross profit margins to improve your profitability so thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, first lecture of meeting profitability goals i hope you have learned again new things in this lecture you have enjoyed and i Look forward to see you again in the next lecture.